this is Sean Karpovich, or how do you pronounce it? Karpovich, if you want to do it properly, Karpovich, if, you, if you're Karpovich, in Poland, you know? Yeah, well, I have a Polish wife over there, so <laughs> trust me. We, so we came by, what would it be, three years ago now, the last a proper nap? Two, uh, no, AES 2019. 2019, yeah. Yeah, in, in New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd just flown back from Music China, That's and I was right. ill. And he had a panel, and he was everybody, of course, because it's Warren. Everybody wanted to talk to him. This guy is a legend. How he powered through and got he's a legend. It. He's a legend. Yeah, it was a lot of flying. Yeah, it was a lot of flying. But it's, you know, I'm I'm so happy to be back to doing this stuff. So am I. Everyone's buzzing, Warren. I think yeah. we missed each other. You know, yeah. like like we're all friends. You know, you it's like it's like seeing your old family. It's a great community. The audio community is great. Um, yeah, I like people. I like all sides of size, like all kinds of music, and just to be able to come and do this stuff is absolutely amazing. Everybody comes here and, and all for one reason, for yeah. music and audio, and it's amazing. And what's been interesting is the best part of the NAMM show has been the pro audio part. It's I, actually doing better and it's more vibrant here than the other side of it. It's interesting. We, I, we I, seem I, to be like, we're all dying to get in there and talk about audio recording. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I, I yeah. noticed the same thing more. I don't know what, what's yeah. behind it. Yeah, well, Weird. lots of big guitar manufacturers not showing up. Yep. But we're it's buzzing. great. It's great. All right, so if you've watched this before, talking to Cranborn, you'll know that we're really excited by this, first of all. So I need to get one of these, and I've threatened to do it before. <laughs> um, so look, treat me like an idiot, because I am, and explain to everybody what, why this is so revolutionary, because it is a pretty amazing. Basically, this is our 500 RA. It's complicated what it can do. I, I could list everything, but I'll put it this simply, Warren. Yeah. It's a studio in a box. Yeah, yeah. With one USB cable, you have a complete modern hybrid studio. Yeah. So it has an eight slot 500 series rack, fill it with all your favorite modules. Of course, we have Camden uh, preamps here, which is our preamps, but we have this lovely rubber bands EQ, we have this lovely Chandler EQ, we have this lovely Clarifonic uh, high-end exciter. And there's just so many goodies in the 500 series module yeah. uh, that, that you know you can make your sound, your tone, what you like, that's unique to you. But then it's an entire system that's, that is made to make recording with them easy. And yeah. that's not just tracking, but also yeah. mixing, Warren. So yeah. you can, you have the summing mixer, you have obviously the ability to track through so preamps. Yep, this is the summing mixer down yeah. here. We have the ability, when you flip to analog, now it's listening to the back XLR. But then you've already tracked everything, you have your guitars, you have your vocals, all good. Now you want to bring some analog uh, tone into your mix down. Flip the switch to USB, now you can use your heart, you can use inserts in Pro Tools or Cubase as, and process real hardware right in your DAW without yeah. cabling, without yeah. patching, nothing. So it's a 28 input, 30 output USB audio interface. Wow. Uh, so that's the eight slots, 16 channels of eight at, and a, and a couple extra channels for the, the, the summing mixer come back up in your DAW, yeah. a couple doll returns to make headphone mixes for your, for your yeah. monitors and things like that. So it's a complete studio solution. And then the conversion quality, is yeah. up there with the most elite interfaces out yeah. there in the market. Yeah. Um, so great dynamic range, very low THD, yeah. and, and maybe something criminally underrated, clocking. Uh, right, our right. clock is only 0.5 picoseconds of jitter. So it's among the most elite clocks right. uh, uh, available in the industry. But again, all just in, integrated how, in one box. How much is it unloaded? This is the fun part, Warren, $17.99. Yeah, nice. Right. And you know, if you think of an interface of this of similar quality, you wouldn't, yeah. you know, it's that's about the same price. Let alone with a mixer yeah. and a 500 series rack and everything else. Yeah. And yeah. that, and we now, and we wanted to do that because yeah. what we see is we see more and more project studios. We see more and more, yeah. you know, just like producer like a pro, yeah. right? You yeah. see more and more people who want professional level studios, but in a smaller package and affordable. And that's what we that's exactly what we set out to do. Well, we're going to get one. We have Eric and I have tons of 500 series stuff, so we're going to get one and experiment and put different 500 series stuff in it. So, I'm very excited because you're going to tell us about this preamp over here that you're also going to do for a giveaway, which is really nice. Yeah, so Produce Like a Pro, we're, we, we can't wait to do a giveaway with, with the community. We think the Produce Like a Pro community is brilliant. We love what Warren does, we, but we love the community that, and all the comments. So the Camden EC1, yep. we think it's a really great product for you know that person who's looking for that step up in yep. quality for their audio recording. Now, 
if you say, let's say you have an entry level interface, you might be thinking, what do I get next? What's my, what's my upgrade on my next audio interface? Yeah. But what you might find actually is the conversion quality, yeah. and even in entry level interfaces, is actually quite good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They yeah, really yeah. are, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where, where maybe things could be improved is the analog pads, right, like right. headphone amplifiers, as an yeah. example, yeah. and of course, preamps. Yeah. And especially, you know, you want a bit of color on your recordings, there are very few interfaces that offer true analog color options. They might have plugins and DSP and stuff like that, but if you want a actual analog color, yeah. there aren't many interfaces yeah. that offer that. So what the EC1 is meant to do, our Camden EC1, it's meant to upgrade your interface. Yeah. But it provides you two really interesting things. So it provides you one of our Camden 500s. So Camden 500, or, or Camden rather, Camden yeah. is effectively three preamps and one more. And so okay. it's, one, it's one of, if not the most transparent preamps in existence. Great. Um, but then at the turn of the Mojo dial, yeah. it becomes one of the most characterful preamps okay. that you have. And it has two different modes, thump and cream. Thump, transform, classic transformer style saturation. Right, right. But it goes to 11. Uh, and then cream is your tube tape saturation style yeah. uh, saturation. Now, what's interesting about cream is that it has a huge range. Yeah. For most sources, you're going to want to use it around there, yeah. vocals and guitars, like yeah. tastefully. But if you have synths and you want to mangle them, if you have electric guitars, you want to really, really saturate them, yeah. it goes to 11 and it sounds good on those sorts of sources. Right. Uh, so very versatile, but that's only half the story. The yeah. other half, and this is why it's so great for, for that home studio person, yeah. this is a headphone mixer an analog headphone mixer that al allows you to do actual zero latency monitoring with physical controls. And this is a reference grade headphone amp. So even if you're using, obviously most people will be using kind of low impedance headphones these days, but let's say you have 600 ohm, you know, really good reference quality headphones, you need a good amp headphone amp to drive them. And the EC1 has a lot of power on tap. So it will power any headphone. And the crucially, crucial thing is cleanly. And it has, nice. it has frequency response that extends well beyond the audio band for actual transparent, proper mastering quality Amazing. headphone monitoring. How much? This is the lovely bit, $5.99. Oh, wow. No, that's good. I mean, $5.99 I, I, for, a, for a preamp would be pretty reasonable. So with the head, I like. Good, $5.99. And we're going to give, a one, give away one for free. Just as I've said in every video, we will never charge you shipping to do this. If, even if I pay personally, I'll make sure it ships to you anywhere in the world. We always do, wherever you are in the world. We've had people win in India, Malaysia, Greece, Brazil, lots of very expensive countries to ship to, but we will ship worldwide. Sean, thank you ever so much. Have a marvelous show. With Mark at Soyuz, how are you? Doing well, Warren. Good to see you again. Good, the bomblet, we, uh, we use a lot. Yeah. We use a lot. But most of all, we use this little beauty here. Yes. For all of our, when I do those videos on the song breakdowns, that's the mic above me. Just so nobody knows, that's the mic above me. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've experimented with a lot. We just found that one was consistently, it just seems to have a lot of extra lows in there. Well, you know what the secret is with that? It's the capsule is yeah. actually quite a bit larger than most small diaphragms. Ah. So you kind of get that hybrid, the thing that people are looking for with the detail of the yeah. SDC. Yeah. A little bit more of that kind of LDC waiting to sound. Because it's good, because you take a small diaphragm and put it above you, if it doesn't have that extra lows, it just everything just sounds like this, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then you're EQing it. But this, yeah, this is the one we found that had the most lows. And I'm it. always trying to convince people to use the 13s, uh, where you would never think to use a small diaphragm. Well, we just did. Yeah, people well, are always ching. afraid of yeah. putting it on vocals or close micing a tom yeah. with it. It's, yeah. No, no, it's really, really good. And we have a pair, and they're wonderful. Excellent. Um, the bomblet, what is this? This is the 17 FET. This is the FET version of our flagship mic, the 17 tube. Nice. It's kind of the mic that started it all for us. I, have, uh, I haven't used this. Yeah, this is, well, obviously it's a solid brass body, point to point, yeah. hand wired. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone has, says they're going after a sound. We're completely original handmade capsule. If yeah. I had to describe it, the 17 FET is kind of like imagine finding a cherished old U87 in a closet from the 70s. It's nice. kind of got that classic Neumannish sound, but a bit more modern. Focus. When this is on a stand in the studio, Eric will tell you, always elicits a response. Oh, what's that? Can we hear that? Yeah, yeah. That's, it's it's good self-marketing. Just design something that looks beautiful. Fantastic. Have you got anything new you want to tell us about? We're working on things here now. Yeah. In the next couple months, probably yeah. later in the fall, we'll be seeing some exciting things. I will say, there may be a couple special additions to the launcher family. Okay. Basically, the launcher we released two years ago, and it's kind of our. What did you spin. do to it between in two years? Uh, well, I 
can't talk about what's coming with the launcher. Uh, okay. But okay. the launcher itself is kind of our spin on the mic booster trend. Everyone yeah. seems to go for that clean, transparent boost, and we wanted yeah. to purposefully put our transformer, a Burr Brown uh, Okay. Man, give a little bit more saturation. Okay, good, good, Basically, good. we've taken all the feedback and requests of what people wanted with this for, and we have a special version coming out pretty so soon. So you've souped it up, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, gonna yeah. be more than just a launcher. And yeah, I, like, I liked it, and we did use it, and we do use it, but it, it wasn't as colored as maybe you could go. So and I'm gonna guess if that, you're gonna do it, you're gonna... Well, the thing is, too, is we didn't want steroid to be too heavy-handed. Everyone says warmth, and I think people think of warmth like this. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. key with the launcher is the more you layer through it yeah, and you yeah. stack through it. But Yeah, uh, that's what we found, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, but we're gonna do a giveaway of one of these. Absolutely. Yes. We're gonna do a giveaway of the launcher. Um, we will ship worldwide and we will never charge you shipping. So wherever you are in the world, you can win this. Rather beautiful. Yeah. It Thank you very much. Hold. Oh it's yeah. Like... Yeah. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate it. Good to see you. See good you to see you too. Okay, we're at CTM. I was gonna look down to see Caesar's pass, and it says the boss. So so I just call you the boss. Yeah, I guess. So how are you, Caesar? You having a good show? I, I'm good. Good show so far. So good. Excellent. Uh Good traffic today. Yeah. I mean, yesterday was a like good traffic as well. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So, clear tune monitors, in ears. Um, tell us a little bit about your products. So we we started the company making custom in ear monitors at yep. the beginning. We um, start making from triple driver to five drivers at, at the beginning. Now yep. we're making up to ten drivers. Wow. Man, drivers mean speakers per yep. side. Yep, yep. So before pandemic, before COVID, uh, we designed the triple driver universal fit ones. Yeah. And uh, it's a very successful product. Uh, during pandemic, we came out with a new uh, single dynamic, and it has been awesome. Uh, how much are these? Uh, these ones are $99. $99? $99. Wow. I have a lot of customers that call the sure killers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. $99, but, uh, that's, yeah. But uh, very, very good. Uh, triple drivers are low, mid, and high. Yeah. And, uh, but the ergonomic is very awesome. Feel comfortable. Feel, yeah. feel like a custom in your money. Right. That's insane. That you know. I know. You get multiple drivers in in ears. Correct. Insane. Um, and have you built? You you still build them up to five or more drivers as well? Uh, in the custom, we build up to ten drivers. Wow. Wow. Uh, universal feed uh, up to three right now. Fantastic. And Mike told me that you were going to do a giveaway. Yeah. Sure. What are we going to give away? Oh, we can do a triple driver. A triple driver. I have a pair of these. You need to get these. Mike's such a good friend. He always like turns us on to the best, best equipment. Yeah, we have a lot of. Uh, I love the braided uh, cables braided. as well, because they, they're they're a little bit more sturdy. Because you know, look, this is what I have in my pocket at the moment. That everybody does this. Oh no. This isn't planned. I don't like the Bluetooth ones because I don't have time to charge them. I always forget. Bluetooth's a yeah. great idea. I feel old but, yeah. school, eh? Yeah, it's just. You know, I mean, I'll undo it, but it's just annoying. And the way that these work with the with the braid is you can do a very loose kind of just wrap, right, right, right. and then it just undoes. Remember when, when, when we designed that for the musicians as well, and when you're touring and playing, you don't want to You haven't got the time, well. the energy, all, like, all the patience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, I'm going on stage. Uh, uh. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So we're going to give away... Give away a triple driver. A pair of these. So enter to win. Remember, we don't charge anything for shipping. If you win anywhere in the world, we will ship it to you free of charge. You'll be charged nothing for the process of winning. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. The boss. The boss. <laughs> no, Ryan, how are you? Nice. I'm very well. Thank you, Warren. Yeah. Um, one of the banes of my existence is good quality stands. Yeah. yeah. And especially when you're first starting off, you just go in and you buy whatever stand you can afford. Yeah. Sometimes it lasts a few days. If you're Sometimes, lucky, they're a few months. They, they become disposable over the yeah, years. Yeah. Um, and we've, we've kind of turned that around into something that's more of a lifetime product and a studio tool, yeah. not just a stand. Yeah. And in fact, we stopped calling ourselves a mic stand. Right. Because of that many things. Now, I just went and picked one off camera. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to be... I'm not the world's strongest guy, but... Jesus, Mary and Joseph, it's heavy. This is like... This is built to last. It, it is. And that weight allows us to do something quite unique. Yeah. We can yeah. actually articulate these legs yeah. into angles. So we can have a very wide footprint. This is definitely the ballast of a large cast iron mic stand. Yeah, yeah. But now, in a, in a tight space, like around drum kits, 
I could reduce the footprint to that. We didn't really lose yeah. any ballast at all. Yeah. So um, articulating legs allow you to put things tight together, stack yeah. stands. So um, with the slide of my foot, yeah. that's back into place. Yeah. The other thing our T3 stand has are air-loaded shafts. Yeah. So if you ever had a ribbon mic or sure. large diaphragm blow yeah. up, they actually, they will not fall. So um, yeah. all, all three clutches. It's also three clutched, yeah. um, which is interesting. And we've also made a way that the stand doesn't fall through the bottom with these little nipples. Yeah. Turn it, they slide in, and now the stand can't fall. Yeah. And yeah. that was the other thing. They always fall through, sure. it's like a third leg, yeah. fourth leg, if you will. Yeah, I mean, you put a reasonably expensive mic on a stand. I've had, a, I've had somebody kick over a KM56 before, and it's yep. an expensive. Very much so. As you notice, there's no threads on here. Yeah, I was wondering how that works. Everything we make uses our IO quick change couplings. Yeah. So everything just attaches like that. Yeah, that's nice. Truly. And the mics attach like that. So clearly a boom would have to attach like that. Yeah. So go ahead and just pull that little sleeve right there down. Yeah. And pull the mic out, straight out from there. There you go. Oh, wow. Great. And just push it in. That's it. It will not come out. Will not. This is great. So obviously, pull that out again. Yeah. Obviously, booms have to attach that way. So the booms literally just slide right in. Now, the booms are very unique because we're the first to put booms on a ball joint with 360 by 180 rotation. Wow. And it, it's super powerful. Oh, I like that. Eric, I don't think you'd be able to break this stand. <laughs> <laughs> And now feel how smooth you can get at what you want really quickly. And right. then at the mic end, we have the micros. Yeah. So it's triad orbit micro. Yeah. And that convince, now at the mic, you have very detailed mic techniques. Uh, inline clutches. Oh, uh, okay, I was wondering Allow how that for that. This is a 37 inch boom. I'm gonna ask you the two questions that everybody's thinking. Yeah. How much and how long's the warranty? Uh, the warranty is one year, no questions asked. Yeah, yeah. Three years if you register it on our website. Right. But so far, we've been out for 10 years. We really haven't turned anybody down for anything. Great. Yeah. We, we just, we want it out there. We don't want anything yeah, you wrong want out to there. Feel good. But yeah, yeah. really, you can see that not much can go wrong. Yeah. And um, it's just, it's very powerful. Pull that boom out. Just pull that out. Whew. Now let's go to what I think is one of our best. This is Orbit 2X. Orbit 2X, same, drops straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has two complete swinging ball joints in each side. It also tilts this way and that way. Wow. And the arms detach. It comes with two <laughs> long arms. How quickly he does that. Like, and two, yeah, <laughs> two short arms. Uh, they are uh, nomenclature so you can repeat your settings. Nice. So on, on stereo setups, uh, you probably, you know, when when we were in school, you know, set yeah. up set up a boom line. Yeah. And so now that is So what's your background? That quick, a recording engineer. Okay, good. That hated mic stands. <laughs> oh yeah. There was only, you know, I'm not gonna say the company, but you all know was, there was only one mic stand I'd ever buy. Yeah, yeah. So this is O2X. Now I wanna show you real quick. Now it could be two. Yep. Two mic stands that I'll buy. So this is that same stand, by the yeah. way. The, the T3, the T2, and the T1 all take wheels. Yeah. They thread right in. So this could be, in theoretically, overheads, a, a rack, a, a rack and a rack. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We just took that mic over there. This could theoretically be your snare. Yeah. And yeah. a kick, one stand. Yeah. So now we, we're done with the music. Let's go shoot a video. Yeah. So now it's the exact same stand. Switch to lights. Yeah. Camera. Yeah. Our iPad, our orbit, uh, iPad holder. Yeah. This is IO desk that holds a laptop in, straps it down, and uh, these go anywhere. Every hole is threaded 3/8, so you could just lock your laptops in. I've got to say I'm very impressed because either, either you had some really good development money and stuff like that, or you're just doing a lot of bootstrapping and work really, really because it's like it's, a lot of work to go it's into. Both. This. It's both. It was literally five to six years before we even released it. Yeah. And now it's 10 years on the market. Yeah. Um, it, in the beginning, it was difficult because a mic stand for, yeah. for $600, uh, yeah. no way. 
Yeah. But now it's if after you have try it for 10 years, it's fine. And they, and they last forever. Yeah. You know? yeah. And so uh, Warner Brothers and yeah. Fox, and they're all switched. And yeah. they're all switched to I.O. too. Yeah. Because we have our I.O.A. adapter yeah. that converts every other stand sure. to be this stand. No, this is great. Very, very nice indeed. So Mike told me that you're going to do a giveaway with us. Actually, yes, sir. What so, are you going to give away? Because I actually don't know yet. The giveaway <laughs> is one of our best products. T3 okay. stand. T3 stand. O1L boom. Yeah. And an M2 micro. Nice. How much is this normally? Uh, about close to 500. Nice. Nice thing also, it, yes, it gets really tight. It won't move. But you can get this at a loose setting and actually dynamically move it like yeah. a piano player would like. Yeah. Just, and it, that doesn't hurt anything. Other stands, that starts to wear no, out. That was the thing I was yeah. thinking about, yeah. So, um, that was the joke I was making yeah. at Eric's expense. It's a beautiful stand, and if you drop it, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> well, did you live in England? I did. You did? Uh, actually, I grew up, grew up in British schools. Ah, yeah. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anybody? That's it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, sir. Now, are you are you pretty confident with, with doing something like that? Uh, what you want to do technically is counterweighting. Yeah. So if you're so going to you do, do that, that, then you put the boom, put back the boom here. this way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so let's say we get around a keyboard. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's, that's yeah, because the guy's got tiered keyboards. Exactly. So I like that, that. that's not an issue at all. You think about that? Tiered keyboards, you've got one here, one here, you can have to, and then it takes up less footprint, and the mic stand doesn't have to be back there. Correct, correct. El Lyco. You know, and I'm the other fluid. thing is, with these clamps, you can clamp these on your keyboard stands yeah. and just have arms off the keyboard stands. Ah. What about for cameras? What do you got? How do you got? Because you know, uh, that's another thing. Yeah. So again, it's the micro. Yeah. And the micros all come with a We quarter need to get some of these, Eric, so we can put our cameras up. All come with quarter 20s in the box. Nice. So it's just a quarter 20 adapter that comes with a 3.8, of course. Yeah. And then so, yeah, your cameras uh, yeah. Just, just lock in. Also, with that T3 on wheels, yeah. I've used it as a dolly. It's, right. it's that smooth. Right. Rolling dolly camera. Yeah. So I'll do certain shots around the studio and yeah. then go ahead and you know, shoot yeah. the stand. I'm impressed. Thank you. I don't think we've ever gone and talked to anybody who makes stands before. You know, it's funny at these shows. Because I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, it's all it, growing up in, in Britain. It was all K and M. You could afford it. You bought K and M. Sure. And they're amazing stands. Yeah, at these you know, shows, really I, get, I get someone that says, "Oh, I just saw." This is something the, I take seriously. I saw the SSL. I saw Waves. Yeah, yeah. I saw all this stuff. But I'm more excited about a mic stand yeah, yeah. than anything in the show. We're actually going to do a we're going to do a summation of the show, and this will be an awesome summation. Great. That's fantastic. Very, very. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Really great. Even at like 500 bucks, that's actually competitive with what I would pay for a K&M anyway. And this is freaking awesome. I don't know how to explain how heavy this is. Kasha, come and lift this. My wife does kickboxing, so she's probably stronger Hello. than me. Well, I work out, so maybe not so. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Well, she is stronger than you. Yeah, yeah, wow. No. <laughs> what is it, like 10, 15? Um, it's 15 pound base, and then, and then you put the, the boom on it, and, so and this is a good eight or so on itself so yeah. that was about 20 pounds you're doing well you don't have to worry about losing it or falling nope. over i find it's a toe breaker yeah oh good anything else oh eric take your shoes off let's try no, no. <laughs> <laughs> worried about nice eric nice to meet you yeah fantastic so great giveaway everybody thank you ryan i really appreciate it appreciate it warren yeah, thanks, thanks for your time and so there will be a link underneath uh we're going to do this worldwide you will not be charged any shipping so we'll ship it to you wherever you are in the world. Andrus, my friend, how are you? I'm good, how are you, man? I'm good, it's always good to see you. Likewise. And as you probably know, we've done a lot of stuff with JZ or JZ, depending on which side of the ocean you're on. Um, anything new you want to tell us about? Well, the newest mic you already reviewed, it we was did. Vintage 12, came yeah. out November last year. Yeah. Very good results. Thank you for the video. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, you know, you're known for building relatively inexpensive mics that punch above their weight. How about that? That was, that's a good phrase. Almost like I rehearsed it, which I didn't. I have to remember that one. No, absolutely wonderful. We had a great time. But you are going to 
very generously do a giveaway with us. Yes. So which of these lovely microphones will you be giving away? We are giving away Vintage 67, which is, a, which is I think, fairly, very, very smooth, silky smooth mics, and it ticks all the boxes in all the genres. Well, I, what I loved is like we were doing the video and Mick Jagger put out a new video like two days before we did our video or after and he was using one of these. Yeah, and the interesting part is that... You didn't he, know, he, did you? We didn't know and he bought the mic. He bought the mic. That's great. Congratulations. So, remember, you can enter to win. You will not be charged shipping or anything. will ship anywhere in the world. And uh, yeah, it's open to everybody. Thank you ever so much. We love the mics. Thank you. You're up. Thanks, Andrews. So we're with Jerry Krieger at AEA. How are you? I'm great. Good. And you're going to tell to keep us. My voice. Oh yeah, well, it's beginning, yeah. but I know I know what you mean. Yeah. Usually by day three, I'm like. <laughs> yeah. So what do you have? What are you going to? What's new? This is our new fresh product, the TRP 500. It is a 500 series version of our TRP2, as you can see back here. Yeah. Um, but with an updated circuit design that's even better, even cleaner than we've ever done before. Right. So we've updated the JFETs, op amps, added a bunch of these little tweaks that uh, lower the noise. So it's got the lowest noise, the lowest to total harmonic distortion, and the best, most musical performance we've ever done so far. We just right. wanted a beautiful, simple, clean preamp to uh, get people, you know, great preamps for great mics. Because right. we do make great mics, but with a great mic, you need a great preamp. Just gain up to 85 dB, so 65 in uh, output and then an extra 20 dB of output trim. So you that's can, a lot. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Yep. And uh, phantom polarity, and then a simple 6 dB per octave high pass filter because we really like just the gentle, like musical high pass filters. So that's at 115 and 230. Um, right. And that's it. And, uh, Beautiful. and it's gonna be selling today, it's the first day, 599. Great, so an affordable preamp. Exactly. For ribbons yeah. and everything else. But 85 dB is a lot. I mean, 70 is always considered to be good, but 85, yeah. that's enough. Yeah. Excellent, great work. Awesome. And, better still, we're gonna do a giveaway. And tell us a little bit about this. This is a Nuvo. This is our Nuvo N22 mics. It's a, a great near-field microphone. So yeah. it's the same big ribbon that we use in the 44s, um, but surrounded with uh, a bunch of acoustical protection to keep uh, the beautiful big ribbon sound, but keep it nice and protected. So it'll sound like uh, sort of like a ribbon with like a little bit of the lows and highs rolled off, but you can do anything with it. You can put it on bass drum, on snare, on guitar cab, on bass cab, and it's gonna sound beautiful. So, beautiful. Uh, and this is great. A 9.99, isn't 999, it? 9.99, yeah. Great giveaway, really good giveaway. So yeah, the N22, you can enter to win. There will be a link down below. As ever, we will ship worldwide. You will never be charged any shipping charges. Thank you ever so much. Of course. You rock. Hi, everybody. We're with Thomas at OX Sound. How are you? Oh, thank you, fine. How are and you? And it's good to have an opportunity to say OX Sound rather than Oak Sound. Yes, you're correct. Yeah, great. <laughs> you have Soothe now for life. Yes. So this has been in development for two years. Yep. A lot of, a lot of live guys wanted to, wanted to be able to use Soothe. Yeah. But with the 2048 sample latency on Su2, that's obviously a bit tricky. Yeah, yeah. It's like 20 milliseconds or something. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah. And uh, with this one, we managed to get it down to 64 samples at 96K. Oh, so wow. It's sub one millisecond. Great. Yeah. Great. And uh, we just like uh, simplified a couple of things sharpness and, uh, and selectivity. We combine into one detail knob. Yeah. Attack and release into one speed knob. Great. But we, we don't have the oversampling stuff and that, but uh, otherwise it's, it's just the familiar old goodies. Great. Yeah, and external right. side chain. Wonderful. Great for Labour. As you know, we love this plugin. We use it all the time. Pretty much every producer, engineer, and mixer we interview also uses it. So now, available with live. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, you are very generously going to do a giveaway with us on oh, yes. three Soothes yes. and three Spiffs, which That's is correct. really amazing. Yeah. So that's six plugins in total, so you're going to have six chances to win three Soothe twos and three Spiffs. That's correct. Yeah. Of course, there will be a link down below to enter to win. Um, yeah. Good job. When yeah. is this, this is out now? Uh, it's going to be out this year. Yep. We hope it's going to be out in fall. Okay, great. Yeah, but at, at the moment we're at version 0.0.2. <laughs> <laughs> great, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks. Hi, Ash here at Tierra Audio. How are the 
devil are you? You good? Yeah. So tell us about this. What is this? The new 20s. So this is a new 20s condenser microphone. Uh, it's a 1920s aesthetic microphone. Which with, beautiful. With a futuristic design uh, and contemporary sound as well. So we say this microphone is made by engineers but conceived for artists. Yep. And uh, also it's like the whim of designers and artists at the same time because it mixed together engineering and good look inside as all of our products as well. And we bring back from the past the little thing, so CVS, Columbia Radio, they yeah, yeah. usually put this here. So you can customize the letter where whatever you want to put yeah, there. Yeah. Um, the magnetized anti-pop as well. So this is like kind of a microphone like conceived for the video world. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. in a world dominated by video, we thought like, we make something to, that looks good. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, sounds good. It's really special. It's an electric type of condenser microphone. It's just a like, little craziness in the inside because it has like a line input transformer from Lundahl. So a lot of rich harmonic content, really good body, uh, but without losing definition and travel. Wonderful. It's a mix of everything, like personality, but definition. How much is it? It's around a thousand. It's a good price for the for the quality. It's beautiful. Yeah, when I look at it, I feel like I'm looking at like an Orson Welles movie or something. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. Which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And you're gonna let's do one of these for a giveaway. Yeah, it's a, it should be a nice idea. Really wonderful. So, yes, enter to win one of these for a giveaway from uh, Jera Audio. We had a wonderful time with those. It was so much fun. Remember that we. Like, every single one of those is a very, very distinct flavor. Which one was your favorite, vanilla or? I like the mint, and I did like it. On Steve's vocal, what's the most aggressive one? The aggressive one is chili, I think. I think he liked that on his vocal, didn't he? I think, I think the one that had was the most saturated was the one that he actually dug on the vocal. Because he could just kind of get in there and push it hard and everything. Yeah, yeah, It's a yeah, lot yeah. of fun. But and what are, what are these priced at, roughly? It's around 200. Around 200, yeah. yeah. Those are a little bit cheaper because it's no transformer inside. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 140 more or less. Yeah. And the rest 200 more or less. So it's good yeah. pricing as well for audio product. Yeah. And to really, really color the sound. The video was really nice. Like uh, I enjoyed it personally. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So don't forget, you can enter to win one of these beautiful new 20s microphones. We will ship it anywhere in the world and we will not charge you shipping. You will, wherever you are, enter to win. Asya, thank you ever so much. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Nice to meet you in person and soon also a review of the new 20s on your yeah. the YouTube channel. Let's do it soon. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Bye.